welcome back to my channel so for today's video I have this makeup tutorial for you guys it's the perfect like fall vampy autumn look not autumn because autumn is more like sparkly gold but this is the perfect fall vampy look I am so in love with it I had no idea where I was going with this look I just pulled out a palette pulled out, pulled out a few makeup products I wanted to try and came up with this look and I absolutely love it I love it so much um I did skip over my face just because um, the products I were using I didn't like so I cut that out of the video. I kind of look greasy and stuff but as far as the eyes and the lips they are just giving me life. I absolutely love it so I'm going to stop rambling. If you guys are interested in seeing how to achieve this fall look then please keep watching. Alright guys, so I first washed my face at about 9.30 this morning. It's currently 6.07, so I'm just going to mist my face just to rehydrate it, give me a little extra something. So I'm going to shake this up. This is the NYX First Base Primer Spray. And I mentioned before, I don't use this as a primer. I just use it to just hydrate my face, get it looking nice and, you know, not juicy, but like hydrated. Because my skin has been very dry. While that's sinking into my skin, I'm just going to moisturize the merchandise. Just kidding. I'm just going to moisturize my lips. And I'm grabbing my Carmex, which I use in every video. It's literally just my favorite lip balm ever. And then surprise, surprise, to um, prime my brows. To prime my brows. To prime my eyelids, I'm going in with my NYX First Base Eye Primer. So for today's video, the gem we're going to be using, a very dirty gem, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So I'm just going to go in with a face powder. This is my Maybelline face powder. I'm just going to set my eyes as well as under my brow bone. For my transition shade, I'm going to take Burnt Orange, which I have deeply hit pan on. I love this palette. I haven't used it in so long because I've been using my, um single shadows from Coastal Scents, but I saw this in my drawer. I wanted to film a fall makeup tutorial, and I saw this, so I was like, oh, this is going to be the perfect palette. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but we'll figure it out. So I'm feeling like I'm going to do a brown smoky eye, but I think I really want like a nice orange faded crease, like high up crease, and then the full brown smoky eye. Like I've done one before, which you guys... If you didn't see that video, I'll link it down below. It's like an end of summer makeup tutorial, but this is what the picture looked like. So I'm feeling like I want to do something with that, but just using the Modern Renaissance palette. So we'll see how that comes out. <laughs> so the next shade I'm going to dip into is Real Girl, which is a beautiful, beautiful orange. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit and focus this directly into my crease. And I switched to a Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M534, so I'm just directing this right into my crease. So to help diffuse and blow the color out, I'm taking this BH Cosmetics brush. This is from the Pretty in Pink set, so I'm just going to buff that out. I can't find my other BH Cosmetics brush, which you guys know I love so much. I use it in almost every single tutorial, and I don't know where it is, and it's not back there, and I am freaking out because I absolutely love that brush, and you can only get that brush in a set. <sighs> so sorry I looked down. I got a, a notification. I have the app Sprinkle of Jesus, um, and it says, just because the battle isn't yours doesn't mean you don't have to show up to the fight. And I really love this app because it just gives you like little motivational quotes throughout the day or every day. So I really like it. So I just want to share with you guys in case you're needing some inspiration or some motivational quotes throughout your day. Definitely download Sprinkle of Jesus um, through Google Play or the Apple Store and you guys will have a much better day. <laughs> So the key to having a really successful, nice, blended, smoky eye, especially when it's all over, whether it's a blackout, smoky eye, brown, purple, whatever, is to make sure you're blending along the way, not after. So I have my crease completely blown out and I wanted it really high up because I have hooded eyes. So when I go to cut my crease, it's going to take away most of the color anyway. So I wanted it super high up. So I blew out my crease and now we can go ahead and move on to the next step. So I feel like my, my crease is a little too orange so I'm just going to take Raw Sienna which is a cool tone brown shade and I'm just going to start blowing, um, well blending out my crease. It's already blown out but just to take away a little bit of that orange. 
just to tone it down just a little bit. Alice, we're looking good, looking good, looking, looking, looking good. So I'm going to grab Cypress Umber, and it is a very intense, super pigmented, rich, hot chocolate, dark brown. So I'm just picking up the tiniest bit, dusting the excess off because it's easier to um, go in and build up than to have a bunch and try to take it away. So I'm going to start packing that onto my lid. And I only picked up a little bit, so it's super big but dead. So just, you want to work with what you have on your lid and start blending it out with whatever brush you're applying it to. You're applying it with, I mean. And I have hooded eye, so I'm going to pull my eye a little bit and just bring it up. Because if I don't, what happens is it tends to get messy and when I look up, it'll smear, whether it's shimmery or matte. So I'm just going to make sure I avoid that. Don't look crazy now, but once we blend, get some lashes on, it'll all come together. So I'm taking this purple liner by Pop Cosmetics. The audio was just so distorted that I just wanted to do a voiceover. And I'm just applying that to my lower lash line. It doesn't look too pigmented, but I wanted like a nice pop of color. It feels so dry, guys. It's not even funny. So, moving on. So I'm going to take Real Gar. And just smoke out that purple a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Phoenician Red. I think that's going to be a nice pop of color. For lips, I was really hoping for a more pop of color at the bottom. I was really hoping it was going to be a nice purple, but I went with the pink. So I'm still going to try out this Maybelline Lip Ink. This is an Escapist number 45. So I'm going to grab a lip liner, actually. So I'm going to grab this Wet n Wild lip liner. This is their gel lip liner in the shade Plum Together. I thought I had a Maybelline one, but I can't find it. my lips in. It's already starting to dry down to a nice matte finish. It's currently 7.32. Let's see how long it takes for it to dry. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I'm so sorry, I forgot at the end part. I just realized now to cut my backlight out. It just I don't know what happens between the two lightings, it just doesn't look good, they don't mesh together, so it makes it look like really bad quality, so I'm super sorry about that, but um, yeah, this is the finished look, I cut the light out, so we should be back to normal lighting, also don't come for me for my wig, I haven't worn it in so long, my twists weren't dry, so I decided to just throw a wig on, because why not, but I really am loving this look, this is like the perfect fall vampy look, I'm obsessed with it, also it is currently... So it's 7.36, it's been about 4 minutes, and this still hasn't dried down, it feels very sticky, and if I keep going like, together, like with my lips touching, I get these little, um, little pieces right here, so I just stopped doing that, I feel like this is about as matte as it's gonna get, it could uh, dry down more, I'll let you guys know in a future video, like my favorites or something, keep you updated, but when I had swatched it on my hand, it had dried to a really nice finish, so... I don't know how long it takes, but we'll see. Like I said, I'll keep you updated, like possibly in the favorites. But that is going to wrap up this look. I am so in love with it. I'm talking quietly because everyone's home now, so I'm sorry. But I love it. It's the perfect fall look. I'm just living for this look. I really am. Yes, I do. I believe that one day I will be where I was right there, right next to you. Not going to cut the crease I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this brown eyeshadow so I'm going to take ah, I just smudged my nail hey guys so I just want to come back really quick because I'm sitting here taking my selfies for thumbnails and everything and I accidentally hit my lip and there's no smudge no transfer like at all like look there's nothing 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 and I was so surprised because it doesn't feel like it's matte like it still feels like
kind of like wet a little bit like it's almost dry but not completely dry but I don't have any transfer like. but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that like I'm very interested now I have another shade but it's more for the summer I'm really considering going back and picking up some more because You know, I've been in the kitchen too long when I say bro. Right, I'm going to let you guys go now. <laughs>